I, I had just graduated NYU Film School and was working at the editing post-production facilities there. And Anna took a summer class there, and um, I checked her out some film equipment. That's We fair. started hanging out, <laughs> and uh, it evolved from there. We started making documentary shorts together, and uh, I had the script idea, and we started writing it together. Well, we started, started? with, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> We started uh, with the feature script, actually, for Half Nelson, and since we didn't know anybody who wanted to give us half a million dollars to make the feature, we kind of took the inciting incident, I guess, and wrote a little short around it. It was great. Shooting the, the short was like like another film school, you know, for the to, to workshop the feature. It's it really Half Nelson's about an inner city white middle school teacher who's really trying to make a difference in the world. He's trying to do good, and um, but at the same time is having trouble doing good in his own personal life, you know? And he, he does good, his mission to teach kids how to make change in their own lives, he's sort of struggling about uh, on how to do that in his own life. Right, yeah. That's the synopsis of the movie without really saying what the movie's about. <laughs> yeah, it's good though, it's a good movie. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I mean, really, it's about, it sort of, it comes out of this frustration with wanting to change the world, being frustrated by all the injustice going on in the world, and, and wanting to make a difference, and, and not quite but knowing... But totally being part of the injustice, and not just, like, not right. being able to fix what's going on with your own life, but going into black neighborhoods and buying drugs and being part of that kind of perpetuation of all the injustice that's going on there. But ultimately, I think what the film's about for us is like the exploration of this really unlikely friendship and two people who, for all the logical reasons, just shouldn't be friends, totally inappropriate for them to be friends, and yet whether they should or not, like that's, you know, they're drawn kind of together to help each other or whatever. The appealing thing about this story, the thing that we went into it with was like this guy, you know, he could be a role model for his students, but he, you know, he needed a role model for himself. You know, workshopping the script at the at the, the Sundance Lab was pretty like an incredible experience for us because we had been working on it for a few years and we sort of thought we knew what was good and bad about the script and going into this into the, the screenwriters lab really sort of confirmed our suspicions about problems with the script and and really opened up discussions with, on the script, really opened up new ideas and, and directions for it to go into. So it was, it was incredible for us. Yeah, like we, they, they said at the end of the lab, because we've just been talking about your script nonstop for a week with all these different people, they say, you know, just let everything sit and come back to it in two weeks and don't do anything for two weeks. And we just like left the lab, we were like, we need to start rewriting now. It was just so much was opened up and like jostled and um, kind of gave us a like, new creative desire to go back into it even after working on it for three years and be really excited about it. Well, for me, like directing the movie, it was, it, I learned so much about what other people bring to the process. Because before we had made shorts and docs where it was just the two of us, in charge of everything. I'm shooting, doing sound, she's asking questions, and we're letting things unfold in front of us and in post. But here, it was like there were so many people that brought so many amazing ideas, and in just being open to what other people could bring to the process was pretty incredible for me to see. You know, if you work with good people, chances are, hopefully, you're gonna have a pretty good film, but, or we just got lucky, I don't know. <laughs>